in today's video i'm going to be sharing with all of you a stock that is about to make a crazy move tomorrow and why y'all should keep it in your watch list we're going to look at the overall market and discuss so what to expect for this week as always all right y'all let's dive right into the charts right off the bat we got the nasdaq we're gonna use the nasdaq once again because it's been the easier charts to read uh relatively speaking compared to the other two indices all right but for if you if you haven't watched the last video on thursday night i told you guys to watch the nasdaq for a move all the way up towards 18,300, all right, on that specific day. It exceeded expectations and went up to 18,372. So congrats to anybody who was able to make some money on this one. Um, I was kind of off with QQQ. It ended up going to 446 instead of just 444, like I've mentioned in that video, all right. Um, the spy also did his thing it went up to 512 which was expected again if you look at if you look at the five minute first there was the ascending triangle which i discussed the reason for the move and then there was another clue intraday over here right there on the spy itself that would have been a good entry um for a date for this day trade right if you haven't gotten it here all right now what are my thoughts for what's going to happen tomorrow? After massive moves like this happen, what tends to happen with the markets is that we get a doji. So we might get a doji tomorrow. We might not see too much action. We might see individual sectors doing their own little thing. Um, the highest that I can see the NASDAQ going is 18,500 before pulling back and closing at 18,400 all right um, i don't know exactly how long it may drag its feet just yet okay eventually i think it's gonna go a bit higher maybe somewhere around here all right but because of the way the market moves or tends to move especially after massive pushes like this we might get another another trend like that first before we move a little higher so that's my thoughts on it um the highest for tomorrow eighteen thousand and five hundred. now let's look at the let's look at the vix and the vix is almost done filling that little gap at twelve dollars and 92 cents i think that's going to get taken care of tomorrow given the fact that the indices are about to open slightly higher just a little bit all right now the stock that y'all should be keeping in your washes for a crazy move tomorrow that stock is that stock is airbnb all right now i shared airbnb with y'all i know some of you might say some i share airbnb with y'all because i had a bearish perspective on it was right after i saw this all right the bearish perspective was from here to here and in that video the instructions were to set an alerts right at 147 and wait for it to rank before potentially shorting to the downside the stock never ranked all right it never got below um this close right here and it's been chopping sideways and form a new perspective on here again it's important to let that your mind is malleable during these when 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 a stock tends to move um when it when a stock tends to zigzag like that it's important to just not be so fixed minded and just adjust your perspective a little bit to see exactly what it's trying to do over time there is a bullish pennant on the charts on the four hour without connecting this there is a bullish pennant right here and right here all right and this one broke out on i believe thursday so it broke out on thursday it went up to 160 it closed at 156 and then pushed again on friday and closed at exactly 160 
Um, as long as the stock stays above 157, the stock is behaving really, really well. What it shouldn't do or what would um, prove this structure to be fake and to nullify the entire structure is for the stock to roll over below 156 and close at 155. That that right there is not a that wouldn't be a good sign. But as of right now, and as of the way it looks, the stock survived earnings. It stayed around that range, at around 150, and then it's climbing towards 160. Watch it for a move all the way up towards 170 bucks. I don't know how fast it's gonna get there. It could be tomorrow, or it could be on Tuesday morning. All right, so that's the structure to keep on watch. If we zoom out, even if we zoom on, if we zoom out on the daily, for example, all right, there is a level of resistance that got breached. It stretches from way back here, right, right there. All right, so it got tested once, tested again, tested again, and then it chopped, chopped, and we're finally out with decent volume. Not as big of a volume as we've seen during the earnings time, but it's slowly increasing. All right. So watch Airbnb for a move up there. The weekly also looks good for a long. It does. All right. Now, the next stock that we're going to look at, I know I said one stock is about to make a massive move, but we got to talk about another one. And this is much more like an update uh way back when when hd had earnings i talked to you guys about lows all right now with lows lows also i was leaning bullish on hd because because lows had two bullish pennants that were stacked right here there's one right there also let me zoom into the one hour yeah there is one, there is a bull flag right there on top of a bullish pennant, broke out, earnings um, happened, and the stock survived, which is a great sign. And the uptrend is still there. And now we're going to zoom into more. And what I want you to pay attention to is the ascending triangle that broke out on Friday morning, right here. And the entry being right there, all right? So keep this one on your watch this for a long up to where the alert is at 250. So very simple breakdown for those of you who may be beginners. Okay. Um, now, how does that correspond to HD? Let's move on to HD. And with HD, it's filling the gap. It's not quite done filling the gap. It's in the middle. I told you all to watch it for a move up to 187 to 387 on Friday. I was wrong about that because the stock is moving very, very slow. So it pushed up a little bit after this ascending triangle broke out, um, played some games, and then really, really ran. It didn't really close that gap. It might do so in the morning. There is another gap to fill at like 400. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember very well. 400. That's the other gap that I actually um, showed you guys in that previous video when HD had earnings on this day on the 20th of February. All right. So that's the second gap to worry about. I don't know when we're going to get up there, to be honest. I really don't know. I don't know. All right. But for lows, there is some potential there to, um, to make more money in the short term compared to HD because i think after it get after the gap gets filled it might go a little bit higher just 388 and then it's gonna play games so that's my thoughts on these two stocks the next one that we're going to look at as an update from the last video is caterpillar and caterpillar is behaving well all right i showed you guys why i was bullish on it I gave you the two structures. I just left one structure on there for now. But there is two structures. There's the bigger one. This is the smaller one. And then this is the bigger one. All right. It's an ascending triangle within a bullish pennant. And the outcome should be exactly the same for both. Um, individually and together. So 
dish wash this one for a move up to where that green circle is i'm not changing my mind on this one unless it decides to play games and roll over below 330 all right now the last stock that we're going to look at is a stock that is reporting earnings in the morning that's g t l b yeah all right, now with GTLB, this is a $72 stock. Apparently, it got raised, like the price targets got raised by some analysts. Again, these are people who give their opinions about these stocks, just like I'm giving you my opinions about these stocks. They raised the price target for it to 80. Will it get to 80? Maybe, all right? But there is, it's going to report earnings tomorrow. Um afternoon actually this is tomorrow after hours i'm not telling you this is not the video where i tell you guys to gamble through earnings because y'all know we don't do that here but if you're going to gamble through it manage your risk all right um where is it going to go it's been on an uptrend for quite some time there is a gap at the bottom at 52 which is a little bit worrisome um but it really all depends on how it opens. If there is a gap, like a big gap, and the stock opens up at like 60 bucks, I might make another video on it for the easy drop. But for now, just keep it on your watch list, and we will see what happens on this one tomorrow afternoon. And that is the end of the video. Do not forget to annihilate the like button. As always, remember, I make these videos from Sunday to thursday at exactly 10 p.m central time so definitely click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell that way youtube notifies you whenever i release these videos if you'd like to be part of a private Discord community we can get all of this information in real time as i see them you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below also if you haven't followed me on social media you can find me at Guma. And up analogy lab on instagram and on x and lastly to get some free stocks with weeble you can use the third link in the description of the video below once again ladies and gentlemen this is better analogy lab where we trade patterns and patterns only and i will see all of you in tomorrow night's video